Today, is your Xbox One backwards compatible? No, no matter what people tell you. This is Checkpoint. Welcome to Checkpoint, where I talked about Christmas presents last week, so I think we might have blown our seasonal load too early. Uh, what? No. Ew. What? From the slim pickings of good stuff to come out of Spike's VGX thing, the one that has most people excited is the world's exclusive preview teaser of No Man's Sky, a procedurally generated space and terrestrial exploration game by UK dev Hello Games, until now best known for the Joe Danger downloadable titles. The colorful, fun take on an Asimov-era science fiction aesthetic has already captured people's hearts, which is why I'm worried. Attention, the four guys at Hello Games. I went on your website and discovered that there are only four of you. I counted the staff photo. This game has to happen. I have a visceral need for it to be in my eyes. Please hire more people. Excited for Metal Gear Solid Ground Zeroes? So excited you're planning to 100% it? Well, you better buy it twice because there are exclusive console-based missions. If you have a PS3 or a PS4, you get the Deja Vu mission where you play as Solid Snake. If you're playing on the 360 or the Xbox One, you get the Jamais Vu mission, which stars Raiden. But don't panic, it's cool bionic face cyborg Raiden, who's only slightly less cool than standard issue Solid Snake taking an advanced accounting class. Look, I know Konami wants to make sure there's something cool for everyone, regardless of what platform they're on, but I think we know where Kojima's loyalty actually lies. Game distribution service Good Old Games is taking a terrible gamble. Their new customer service policy states that if a game doesn't work on your PC, you can return it. Okay, that's good. Except, everything that they sell is DRM free. On its own, this is also good. But combined, it means that you could buy a game, download it, return it, and just keep the game. So, they're forming a contract of trust and hoping people don't abuse it. We admire their optimism, but relying on the good faith of people on the internet is a big ask. Some unlucky Xbox One owners became the owners of sad plastic boxes that used to be Xbox Ones after a fake set of backwards compatibility instructions were released online last week. Predictably, the suspiciously easy six-step process did not unlock a desirable secret feature, but it did instead set up an infinite reboot loop. Look. I know not everyone who owns an Xbox One is going to keep up with all the media announcements about chips and technology, so it's not unreasonable that some people didn't know it's technically impossible for an Xbox One to be backwards compatible. But since you, well, were the owner of a $500 product, I assume you either have a job where you earned $500, or if someone bought this for you, you are at the very least capable of using the English words to ask for one. That generous intelligence bar set what did you think was going to happen? They would magically get access to a feature that Microsoft had hidden from its consumers because reasons? Twitch TV has released some preliminary statistics regarding the built-in streaming integration on the PS4, and the numbers are big. Since the PS4's launch, 10% of all minutes broadcast on Twitch have been from PS4s, and registered Twitch users jumped by 100,000, who between them streamed 800,000 sessions. And we're pretty sure that only half of those sessions were people who thought they were hitting the pause button and then getting up to go to the bathroom. Oh, I checked out a bunch of those PS4 streams. Yeah, yeah, me too. I had to stop watching, though. I can only handle so many dudes in their mid-twenties using just really offensive language to describe knack. You guys are hurtful. Yeah. Shame on you. Coming up. Telltale is doing a game called Tales from Borderlands. Finally, a Borderlands game for people who get motion sick when they play FPSs. Oh, hey, we are still here, uh, but only for another couple of weeks. That's right. As you may have heard, Penny Arcade is taking PATV back to first party content only. And as a result, we are putting Checkpoint on indefinite hiatus. But does that mean we are going away? No, indeed. As you are hopefully aware, we produce a bunch of other content that we think you'd like. It's all linked from loadingreadyrun.com, and you can read all about the checkpoint announcement on the blog over there. We would really appreciate it if you would come there and check that out. And 
in 2014, we'll be unveiling the Loading Ready Live streaming with a whole bunch more content. So that means if you think you're going to miss us talking crap about video games, boy, are you mistaken. There's going to be so much stuff happening. So please go to our website and find out more.